Hi, I'm Jason Hobbs. I've given myself nine minutes in this video. Let's see if I can get through these slides within nine minutes. This unresearched example number three, my local Humane Society right around the corner, Fitzgerald Ben Hill. That's from the street to the right over there is um, the ball fields for the kids. And once again, that's the front door. So the idea is we're going to help them get attention. And that's going to be comprised of the media that we put out everywhere but the brand's actual website. And so an example being a Facebook ad, right? Now, the keeping of attention is going to happen on the website, which is going to include a digital store using WooCommerce, Liquid Web's beginner plan, 39 bucks a month, you're up and running. And the goal, and this is the keep attention part, is the website. So the bottom right, you see the Drift uh, live chat, where which is also connected to email, which is also, you know, can include bots down the line and a lot of different options. But the idea is it's a two-way conversation. That's why you get attention and keep attention. The keeping of attention is through the conversation. When they're ready to talk, then you're all ears, so to speak, right? So if somebody wants to adopt a dog, you want to put dogs in front of them and let them, you know, meet them, get to know, relate to the dog before they even have to come up there. So they're able to see the different videos and watch what, and which one really resonates with them. And then eventually you can even add, you know, a live video feed. So the goal of this plan is to cease the digital sharecropping, which they're doing currently, and then grow the brand's digital experience. And digital sharecropping is, means that they also have a page on the city website but for Fitzgerald, but largely the communication is happening in a Facebook group and through this uh, Facebook page, right? So the goal is for the new website to simplify animal adoptions, monetary donations, and you know helping with supplies and so forth that the Humane Society staff need. The customer point of view is within 100 miles, 30 miles, whatever, of the brick and mortar Humane Society that I pictured earlier. Uh, the pressing problem is finding the right pet for the family. The solution is digitally efficient brick and mortar experience. They already have an efficient brick and mortar experience. And now they, we add the digital aspect and it's just simplifying the ways that the customers interact. If you know, they're adopting an animal, if they're you know making a monetary donation, if they're setting up a recurring monetary donation, or if they're pledging an amount towards a large project, or you know if they're volunteering their time, whatever. We wanna simplify those interactions, right? So the access point is obviously the brick and mortar location. They're going to have to keep the animals somewhere and the staff, that's where the staff is actually going to care for the animals and so forth. Right. But during the hours of operation, but then 24, 7, 365, the website will be working for them. And the value to me as a local citizen is people, I have to put less effort into finding the perfect pet through them rather than going and finding, you know, buying, so to speak, you know, buy, stop, don't buy, what, I'm not sure. <laughs> As I said, unresearched. So <laughs> rescued pets spending fewer total hours in the Humane Society's care. So that's the goal is start tracking the amount of time that each animal is under care to minimize it. The, the goal is to get them with the perfect family. That way they don't come back, you know. The POVs, the education, and this is what I would start with, at least on research, is pets have feelings too, and pets depend upon people. And just hammering those messages home, but I would start out with um, video. So the foundation for this plan would be at the website, whatever website name that they want to use. And then the HTTPS is just, it's a secure socket lay layers. And it, what that means is with the store, you just, you want to have the SSL. It's going to be safer. So unresearched example number three, this is the um, example foundation website, web store, whatever that you want to call it that I've put together. And the brand's media, and there's a link to it below this video, by the way. You can go play with the, the demo. Um, or you know what I mean? You can take a look at it. So the brand's media, I'd start with video. And what I mean by that is I'd start out, it depends on what the the 
the pressing problem is from the staff's perspective and, you know, unresearched. So I don't know, but, you know, my initial gut reaction is if they're like, well, we need to move more animals quickly, then, okay, I'd start with the animals individually, you know, having each of the, every animal becomes a product within that WooCommerce installation and has all of their video, has a video, has multiple images. And just because they're, basically they're selling the, the animals, right? They want people to be able to come r relate and either, you know, adopt ideally if they're and treat the dog great and or cat or whatever, right? And take care of them for life. The other part of the possible video stuff is you just want to, you know, introduce the staff, right? And the volunteers kind of shine a light on the volunteers as well as the staff and the board and the supporters and, you know, just, there's so many different options as far as that you can go through over time, kind of cycle through. Uh, establishing a live stream, especially with the way stuff's getting, it's getting so much easier. So, you know, potentially having a live stream on the one that's most important to move at the time, like the one that's been there the longest, they have a live stream until they, you know, they get adopted. So that will, and the goal of that is to have the live stream, uh, you know, capture the the best um stories capture all the stories but you know it, it puts them anyway customer conversation i start with live chat during the lobby hours and supplement it by email and the goal is to shorten everyone's time with the uh humane society so if you're going to adopt if you're going to support monetarily or if you're going to volunteer your time whatever so live chat, bottom right, and then the website, obviously, you know, you'd use WooCommerce, it's, um, so forth. Campaigns, marketing strategy is customer intimacy. I'd start with awareness of animals for adoption, i.e. you're creating a product for each of these animals to help people identify the one that they're going to, you know, is going to fit best with their family and starting to let people know this one's a little bit high strong and you know, because it happens. They've been in a lot of times. It's, it's it's emotionally jarring for them. You know, the animals, they're thrown out or thrown to the side or, you know, they've had to, whatever. It's just, I'd start there and then I'd define audiences and just speak to each audience individually is the goal, right? So you're talking to the people that would be on a board or you're talking to the people that would make a large donation to, you know, in the name of their family or whatever, because they're because uh, of local ties, you know what I mean? So just a couple of audience ideas. Now the budget estimate for this would be 89, 39 months for uh, $39 a month for the liquid web. Go to liquidweb.com. It's the managed WooCommerce. Start out with the beginner plan. Go to drift.com, 50 bucks a month. That includes the email and two um, people that are talking through live chat, two operators or whatever. Um, and then for this, I said 500 bucks a month for the first ad budget. And I'd start by just dumping all of that. I'd start by dumping all of that into Facebook ads. They already have a, a presence there. So you could even just start with the automated ads, you know, and you point it at least initially, you could point it towards on, on site sales. And then, you know, very, they make it really easy to advertise an individual product within WooCommerce. And WooCommerce makes it really easy to put a bunch of media around an individual product. So in this instance, we're doing dogs and cats, right? And that's Lola. That's my mom's dog. That dog is not for, well, I mean, she's for sale. <laughs> All right. So five bucks a day, they're forecasting anywhere between 1,200 to 2,500 people that would be reached with that ad for five bucks a day. Then the other thing I do is, and this brings up an important point. So we're talking about getting attention and we're talking about keeping attention, right? Well, the bit harder part, so to speak, in the longer term relationship is the keeping of attention, right? It's that long term conversation. For me, that plays out in drift. So, for instance, here, I'm, this is one of the ways that using automation, we would pipe everything together onto the same timeline for these customers, which just gives you context as a brand, as a you know institutional knowledge for that brand. 
and brand asset moving forward because you you start to understand more about the audience and how to speak to them the way that they want to hear it basically just you know you're you're accruing all this information and pulling it all into this one uh, timeline which is tied to your email and your live chat and it just allows people to kind of pick up the conversation where it was left off as opposed to you know kind of starting over every time they have to interact so getting attention facebook at least initially you know unresearched on site at brick and mortar and then keeping attention it would be the website media channel so if they're creating video and then they start creating some audio from that and then they're doing some you know written articles and how to's or whatever from that um that would all play out through the website that web store on Liquid Web's beginner WooCommerce plan, and then which is you know the web store, and then the customer account would also be available there as well. It's just played out through the WooCommerce. Uh, all right, cool. The next one, I'm not sure. I'm either going to do. I think I'm going to do a South Georgia Loot Center. Um, it's right around the corner, and um, it's in between here and Osceola, Georgia. Uh, I live in Fitzgerald, Georgia, right across from the high school for uh, Fitzgerald High School. So if you have questions or whatever, Jason at JasonHobbsLLC.com. If um, you're interested in working with me, 912-381-6318. Have a great one. I'll, I'll have the next one out next week, so we'll see.